Hello and welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. My name is Ryan, and today we are opening some more Pokemon cards. I know, who would have thought? Um, today we have a special video. Um, we got a lot of packs to open today, but I'm doing two of my older favorite subsets, and that's Pokemon 151 and Crown Zenith. Now, GameStop, I have to use this platform to express my utter frustration with you guys. Um, I love the workers at the store. You guys are fantastic. Joey, thank you very much. Bob, thank you very much for helping me out with the situation. But I will say I encountered a big, big issue with how they operate their online sales and their in-store sales. So I'll start off with, this is what I wanted to open. The Lugia Crown Zenith box that online is $19.99, $39.99 typically. Very good box here. Five booster packs, a couple of promos and an oversized Lugia card, and a pin, which actually is really cool. I like collecting pins. Now, I'm gonna read off what the deal was. So first of all, I bought three of them. Three of them is what we're opening today, $19.99 a piece online, and they had five total in the store that I ordered from. I go to the store, and I see a sign, and I'm gonna display it right here, this is what it says. Buy three, get one free. Trading cards and trading card accessories priced at $19.99 or under and under, I should say, offer valid 2-11-2024 to 3-2-2024. Excludes clearance, pre-orders, and dropship items. The little QR code you see right there is just, I don't know what it is, it's just a way to take you to a different page. Now, so when I got into the store, I told the guys, because they know me, I come in there all the time, I said, hey, could I get that deal? I mean, if it's in store, I mean, it's I ordered it online to fulfill it in store, can I get that deal? They encountered a bunch of problems, essentially said, no, we can't. And so I do know the guy and I, I called back later and I said, hey, I, I got an issue with this. If you're advertising two different things, what is the difference? You know, like, why can't you guys help me out with this? So whatever, after jumping through a bunch of hoops, they ended up citing at the very bottom of another, not on the sign that's in the store, another thing that said they refused the right to take away any deal that they want at any time. And I will find that for you guys too. It's on their online site, which I think is ridiculous. Stand behind what you're selling and give the deal. It's the same thing. I'm standing in front of you right now with money in my hand, ready to buy that product. I should be getting that promo. So let me ask you guys if you have ever encountered any of this, these issues, because now I have a second one. I had a uh, ship to order coming to my house that I tried canceling many times. I still had the time to do it. Call customer service. They said, don't worry about it. Call us back when you get the shipping information and we will cancel it. I did that. I called them back the very next day. I said, hey, I got the shipping information, no problem. We will stop the item before it gets to your house. It's $100. I ended up buying $160 more Pokemon cards that very day in store because of this issue with the online order. So I got it today, delivered to my doorstep. I, I, I call and I say, hey, here's what happened. They say, oh, we can't do a refund anymore because it's Pokemon cards. I'm like, well, hold on. I had five people, three people, I'll be honest, three people tell me, don't worry about it. It's gonna be taken care of, no problem at all. I went over today, it took an hour. They do not empower their employees to override simple things. I mean, yeah, you can't do returns on Pokemon cards, but it was never opened. It was perfectly fine. So anyways, done with that, long intro. Um, the next thing I did buy was Target had a ton of Pokemon 151, and these are still only going for like $21, so I'm gonna stick with these. We have three of the Alakazam EX boxes and two of the Zapdos EX boxes. We are gonna have a massive opening of Crown Zenith and Pokemon 151. Thank you for listening to that spiel. Let me know, like, comment, subscribe uh, for free, but let me know if any of you guys ever have issues with any retailers pulling this junk with you guys. Um, don't you think that they should be empowered to override it and do what the customer um, expects is right. I wanna know what you guys think, but you know, tune in, make sure you're watching the opening, and let's open some Pokemon packs. Check it out. What's up? You made it to the second part of the video. Thank you for listening to that rant. I'm not joking though, that GameStop situation was such a pain in the butt, man. But they took care of me at the store level. It's just, it, 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 it's just bureaucracy at its finest. A company like GameStop doesn't have the power to override stuff, even when the customer's right. That's just ridiculous. But uh, Joey, thank you very much. Bob, thank you very much. District manager of that one, thank you guys very much. I know it's Pokemon cards and there's no returns, but sometimes there is an exception to them. Not none tampered with either, you know. So, but here we go. Here's the three products that we are going to be opening today. Um, we're going to start it out with Crown Zenith though, because that was the main focus. Um, of the video and I have so many boxes laying right next to me and none of these ever fit on the screen but 
we have, you know, three Alakazam boxes total. Um, and then we have two of the Zapdos and then three of these Lugias. I did the math on this. This is 35 booster packs. Um, very cool product here too. A little damaged right there, but that's okay. Um, but it does have five booster packs, metal coin, pin, oversized promo card, and then two foil, well, holographic uh, V cards, a code card for TCG Lugia and unknown unknown. Um, I did say it was Lugia, but I mean, it's pretty obvious which one they're going with. They're focusing on Lugia. There's also Lugia there. Show me where unknown is on the box. Um, is he on the back? No, it's two Lugias. It's a Lugia box. They like to say that it's both, but it ain't. Um, we're going to use this method that I like to do with opening these up. Um, and I'm in Milwaukee and that's a Milwaukee that's a Milwaukee tool right there. I do love those. It's crazy because they're rounded on the edge right there too, but it's sharp. But very convenient, easier way to open these products. We're only going to analyze one of these. The rest of them we're just going to open at will. Um, we, we don't need to inspect every little thing, uh, but we will. It's the first time on this channel ever opening this product, so we will inspect at least one of them and just kind of see what it's like. So we got the coin right here. Very nice. I wish it was white. I mean, I don't know why they went with blue. Lugia's not really blue. I mean, he's got some blue, but it's not. I would never have said, oh, yeah, Lugia is blue. If somebody said, what color do you think he is? I'd say white, silver, gray, something. Uh, we got the unknown Pokemon V card right there, which is actually really nice. I do like that. I if it had some texture. I would say that's a pretty, pretty dope one. Um, it's kind of like the full art in Silver. I think it's Silver Tempest. There's a code card. You guys can use that. I will at least keep one of them. I might show the next one, but I'm, I'll be honest, not really a priority on, you know, sharing those. I'm just going to open them and throw them aside. It takes, takes too long to go through that whole process. And then the oversized card right here, which is very nice as well. This is a very playable card with Archeops. Um, and then uh, what's the card that, oh, well, well Lugia V-Star. You play that and then you summon the Archie Ops under your bench and then you can just pull out colorless energy like crazy or special energy, I should say. And then the nice Lugia um, pin right there, the enamel. I wish they made it a little bit bigger to cover up the actual pin spots on the back because it's very thin compared to the other uh, enamel pins that they've come out with. These are, this is tiny. This is very tiny. Wow, that quality is really good though when you get it up to the camera. This S24 Ultra is actually a very, very nice uh, phone, especially for recording. I'm recording it on my phone, big deal. Uh, but then the five booster packs of Crown Zenith. And actually, now that I just noticed it, these, uh, we're going to be opening the same art. Two, only two pack artworks for um, all these products for 35 packs. Just the 151, they all have the same booster pack artwork. And then Crown Zenith, they all do too, which I think is reminiscent of XY artwork, you know, with the blue and the um, red primarily primal clash and I just remembered we have to do a card trick now because we are back in the sword and shield era one of my favorite eras of pokemon cards probably the one i started when i started collecting again is when i i definitely got in on the base level of this but um i did not with sun and moon i caught sun and moon at the very end uh pretty much just just before covid no i'm not <laughs> i'm not one of those people that need to prove myself i don't really care yes i got back into it primarily during covid but for some reason, Pokemon was just piquing my interest, and I was going out with my um, the ex at the time, and uh, just seeing cards in the wild and just, or, or, or packs in the wild, and being like, you know what? Let's see what these are about. And one of them was a, a, a treasure chest uh, lunchbox thing, and it, I just remember it being so cool. Helioptile, Pancham, Switch, Snow Runt, Snow Runt, and an Enamorous. So no hits so far on the crown zenith i hate when people call it crown zenith you are not from britain well poca chloe you're okay but everybody else it's not zenith it's not crown zenith it's crown zenith it's what we call it it's the point directly above you that your zenith it's an astrological term uh so anyways um one thing that i do hope for this is we need to get some of the gold cards we don't have something's there we have none of the golds out of this set um i have zero i have absolutely zero of them currently helioptile helioptile wooloo electric and then a duraladon v max so the first hit um not a bad one very playable especially right now with the reggie red drago reggie drago i don't know how everybody says it everybody says all these differently it's kind of whatever you want to call it but duraladon very good card to have you put that in your discard pile and then uh, Redrago, Reggie Drago can use it whenever he well pleases too. And Gudra and Noivern. 
right? And then Giratina V Star. That's it. That's it. But we're going for gold. If I'm if I'm being honest, what we're doing with Crown Zenith is going for gold. With uh, Pokemon 151, we are looking for uh, the packs, the cards that we have not pulled yet. And so I, I got a very close to finish binder, but not quite. Potion and then a Scizor. First box for $19.99, you get five booster packs. I don't care. Just the opportunity to rip these open is worth every dollar, um, especially because it's only 20. Uh, typically for Crown Zenith, you're looking at about $5 a pack. So we got $25 in value for 20. And I would say, I, I take that back. You also got the oversized card, the two promos there, which are playable, um, but that does not necessarily add up to 25. You know what I mean? I guess that's just added goodies, but still 20 bucks for all that stuff is a tremendous deal. And since we have three of the Alakazams, we'll go Crown Zenith, Alakazam, Zapdos, Crown Zenith, Alakazam, Zapdos kind of a thing. Or we'll put a Zap the Zapdos in later. These are small. I don't really feel the need to have to do um, a knife on these because these are just, I don't know, just easier to open. The glue's better. They're smaller. They're more compact. I can, I can tear it. I can tear it. Um, but here we go. We got... Another, ooh, I forgot about those, yeah. Well, I did forget about them, it's just a little bit different packaging. God, these these plastic dividers, or are, 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 what would you call them, molds, are extremely difficult to throw away. You can fill up a gar garbage bag so easily. Uh, but you got the Alakazam EX right there. Fair condition, it's a little, little bent, but that's okay. And then you got the Abra and Kadabra. Welcome back, Kadabra, after a long hiatus. And then there's the code card. Take that if you want. I don't know anybody that really needs the premium boxes. I, I guess if you if you do it on TCG Live, do you get, I think you get the four packs too, right? I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had to do it. I have so much stuff saved up that I, I just, I don't even need it. I just use my coins for the cards that I need if I ever need them, and that's about it. And I, I'd say with my first little bit of packs that I open on my own, I, I usually use um, those code cards, Dome Fossil, Execute, nothing, Aerodactyl. Oh, nope, there's <laughs> the one time that I actually thought that was a holographic was not a holographic. Uh, but I should have done, what I did want to do before this video was put out a um, wanted list and show exactly what I was looking for. But I didn't do that because that was going to take some time. I didn't want to go through my binder. I just wanted to open some Pokemon cards. It was my day off and that whole thing with GameStop happened. Look. There was that whole anytime we want to refute an offer kind of thing was very sus. I'm not a big fan of uh, language like that. That sounds like our government. And uh, it's just kind of like whenever we want to adjust it because we made a mistake is when we can do it. Because my, my whole thing is, look, I'm standing in front of you with the same money. Why do I have to go through e-commerce to do this? Oh, it's because they just want to have clicks. They want to have this traffic that also gains them revenue. I, I mean, I, I would assume it does, but either way, it's for them to fulfill and get into the black with those certain marks. You know, I work in retail as well, and I just think that's uh, it's not a good habit to do. Take care of the customer. You are GameStop. Can't, this is a game, GameStop in every town. It's like a Taco Bell. And then they, they give their employees these absolutely impossible... They, they give them no power to do these simple things like cancel a transaction or return a transaction. Why is that not uh, basic on POS that you have in your store? Uh, so back-to-back -back, um, holographic energies. Very nice. But no hits. No hits in 151 so far. Let's see. Maybe this one will be the Blastoise from the Depths that we have been looking for for all this time. Um, but I think there's one more gold that I need. I have the Psychic Energy and I have the... What was the other one that I have? The other gold was... Sorry, I'm racking my brain. Wow, nothing out of that 151 uh, collection box. That's absolutely awful. That's really sad. Um, we'll do a Zapdos one. I think the other one is a switch. I think it's a switch. I don't know. I do have the binder right below me right now. Uh, the Zapdos one, this one's a little bit bigger. Let's let's see. I mean, these are obviously sealed. They're, they're sealed well. Sealed well on here. That one right there looks like it just has a little bit of a, a peel on it. Which we will try to get that off. But either way, 
Um, we need another gold. We need the entire Squirtle to Blastoise evolution line. What else do we need? We need... We got the Charizard. We got the... We got the Venusaur. We don't have Bulbasaur. We need Bulbasaur. I don't really know what else we need, but there's the Zapdos EX. Um, it's it's playable. Everybody's playing that on the Reggie Eliki uh, deck right now. Well, not everybody. Uh, Electabuzz, I don't even know. If Magmar is on your bench, this attack does 40 more damage. whoop de doo um, There's the code card. You guys can claim that if you want. Oversized Zapdos card. Not worth anything. I don't know anybody that really collects those. And also, those are difficult to sell, because then you'd have to put it in the mail. And that's a big package. And... Uh, I keep dropping those, they're loud. Uh, but here's more 151. I haven't sold any oversized cards. It's too much of a risk uh, just with bending it, especially if people are gonna add other stuff to their order. It's not worth it to me to do that. Uh, Bellsprout, Magic, Carp, Oddish, Mankey, Golbat, Leftovers, Persian, Sandshrew, Weedle. Let's get a pull already. What is going on with this? This is supposed to be a really fun video. And so far, all we have is the Duraladon. That's it. That's all we've gotten, and we've opened what? Five, nine, ten, ten packs. Ten packs. I do not consider the holographic energies to be pulls. Um, there might be something here. There is something here. Please let it be a big card. Please let it be the Blastoise. I just really want to get that one. I do not need any more Charizards. I do not need any more, need any more Venusaurs. Eevee, Hitmonlee. There is something. It's a Mew EX, which is a very pretty one. I love the pink. Very bubblegum. Uh, pink color. I do like it. Very playable card. I will take that all day. 151 is a fun set when you get pulls. When you don't get pulls, it is an extremely frustrating set. I, I was never one of those people at the very beginning that was like, oh yeah, it's such a hard set to get pulls on. I did not have that impression. I had the opposite. I was pulling stuff left and right. Pulled what? Two or three Charizards now? Three Venusaurs? Zero Blastoise? Pidgey? Erica's Invitation, Magneton, yeah, I've also pulled how many of the Erica's Invitations? Quite a few. Psyduck, Raichu, and a non-holographic energy. Uh, one more pack for the Zapdos uh, box, which is so far leading the way with all of our pulls. Definitely better than the Duraladon. Duraladon used to be a very tough card, and now it's just super easy to get. Um, it's like worth two or three bucks. Like maybe the Crown Zenith one's worth a little bit more, but that's probably about it. Cloyster, Ivysaur, Starmie, nothing again. 151, you are killing me. At least we have a lot more opportunity to open something good out of there, but we're going to go back to Crown Zenith with another one of these Lugia boxes. This one I am going to use this knife and be very careful if you're doing this. I mean, I'm. this is not the way you want to use those uh, but I am a trained professional a trained Pokemon card opening professional champ a professional Pokemon card box opener we're just gonna set this all aside see this is this is the other problem you get all this all this my favorite word detritus you get all this detritus all this throwable away stuff all this oh my god all of this just builds up so quick behind me. I need carpet doing this on linoleum. So you hear all the plastic falling and stuff. There's the code card. And now we got to go four from the back because we're back in Sword and Shield. And then we're going to go for gold. Let's get gold, Matang, Energy Switch, Trekking Shoes, Execute, Rockruff, Purloin, Love Disc, Chatot, Hisui and Voltorb. Got enough of those. Do not need more Hisui and Voltorbs. That's just going to go in the bulk. That's probably the most basic of the basic of the, what do they call these, trainer gallery cards, Galarian gallery cards? What are these? GG, Galarian gallery. GG, good game. But we do not need any more Hisuian Voltorbs. It's for the birds. It's made out of wood. Wood! Ultra Ball, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Chatot, Galarian Mr. Mime, Sun Kieran, Baidoof, Coughing, Luxray, Zera Aura, nothing. This is bad. I mean, this is... So, we're doing 35 uh, booster packs, which is one less than a booster box split between... We have more 151 than we have Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, we have 15. There's something there. One, two, three, four. Why did it look... Okay, maybe this is a V-Star. Who knows? Oops, whatever. Digging Duo. Graveler. Pokemon Catcher. Catcher, Catcher. Bidoof. Coughing. Salandit. Ooh, 
You too? No, Corlesa's Experiment and a Hatterene V. Double banger pack, very first one. Thank you, Crown Zenith. Thank you. But no, this is this is a very good card, very playable. Probably one of the better cards to pull out of the set. Um, Corlesa's Experiment. Look at the top five cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand, put the others into the Lost Zone. Uh, very good for the um, Giratina deck. A, a, a necessity, an absolute necessity and it's a very powerful deck. Plus dragon Pokemon are just awesome. So there's the code card. We got we got more chances, we got more chances. And even after this, we have more chances, but you know what, we gotta get a gold. Why is this so impossible? On this channel, we've probably opened more Crown Zenith on camera. That's probably the best glaring gallery card you can get right there. So we're turning the luck around. That's a very nice Mew too. <laughs> that is also a good Mew, is what I should say, but very nice, very good holographic on there, and pretty decent centering, a little bit of a bugaboo right there, but overall, probably grades nice, and you might even be able to, you might even be able to, I mean, is it, might just be a little, little hang, it really doesn't look like it couldn't come off, it probably could, and it probably would without damaging the card. Um, so th two good pulls back to back. I got a few of those Mews. I do like it. I wanted to get one of them graded, but I don't think I had pulled one <clears throat> that was worth grading at the time. But I'll have to re re-evaluate re that because Mew is one of my favorite Pokemon. Salandit, Energy Search, Grubbin, Skrulp, Turtwig. And so now we're pulling in the Galarian Gallery cards. Uh, does not need a sleeve. Do not need any more of the Turt wig or is it turtwig turt turtwig or turtwig turtwig maybe it's turtwig so next one we should do would be alakazam right yeah so we got two more alakazam or this is the one of two alakazams left so we got we still have 12 151 booster packs to open and then five Crown Zenith from the last Lugia box. So we we got a good variety. See, this one just doesn't want to open though. Oh my gosh, look how look at this. Look at this. There we go. My god. What a pain in the butt. So we're just gonna take that off. We don't need to show those off or anything like that. We know what's in it. I already showed you guys. Put it back together and get it out of here. Get it out of here. All right, here we go. So what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Let's think of other good cards that we need. Probably G a Gollum? I think, I, I think, no, I do. I did just pull the Gollum. So we don't need Gollum. What, I don't know what else we need. But we're looking for Blastoise. That's what I really want. Machoke, Slowpoke, Tangela. Ooh, Venusaur? Arbok EX. Um, I did just need that as of the last video. So now I got two. And that one's actually superb. This one's really good. Really nice quality on that one. Good colors too. Definitely thought it was the Venusaur, probably would have rather had the Venusaur. But that's okay, starting off a new four pack premium collection box with a hit right out the gate. I will take that out day. Out day. Geodude, Jigglyperf, Staryu, Charmander, Parasect, Cloyster, Grabber, Pidgeot, Graveler and nothing. Machamp out of there. And a non holographic fighting energy. That's okay. We got two more packs left in this little box. This little box of mine. I want some shine. Ah, oh, that's dumb. I want something though. I need something that's got a little bit of shine. So it wouldn't be a Blastoise, but maybe this could be a gold. Maybe. Coughing. Kadabra. Blastoise. Ooh, Jinx EX. Okay, that's a hit. That still is a hit. Uh, definitely got the Jinx already. Not a card that we need. Is anybody playing Jinx? Did they come out with an evolution of Jinx yet? I don't even know. I'm still so much detached from Pokemon that I don't really know if that is something that they do have. Um, so now this one, we could go with the Zapdos, which we're going to. We're going to do the Zapdos. And then we got a Crown Zenith. And then we have a uh, Alakazam EX box left. So we still have a fair amount of cards. That's four, eight, eight plus five is 13. So we still have 13 booster packs left. 
Um, hopefully I can get this done in the next 10 minutes so it's not a much over a half hour video. But this is what we do. This is what we do here. Too, too big of a box. Way too big of a box for four boosts. Oh my God, I forgot that we still had a boost. Wow, oops, that's a great mistake. Fantastic, I thought we went through that really quick. Sorry guys. So that's goofy. I'm sure a lot of people are like, it's right there, it's there. Like when you get a blues clue, it's there, it's there. Sorry, guys, I see it, I got it, I'm opening it. Here we go, Ivysaur, Pikachu, Dragonair. Okay, we definitely need a Dragonair. That is a top pull right there. I have been looking for this card for a while. This is like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory gold card, gold ticket right here. Very, very difficult um, illustrator art to pull right there, but we got Dragonair. That's going to be going straight into the binder. Very good card. Oh, man, I'm stoked. So stoked to have pulled that one, but now we can undo that little mistake I had where I started going on to the next box when we, we weren't even there yet. So we got four more. 151 packs love this art so louis vuitton not a fan of the not a fan of the actual clothing or anything just i i do like the little design how repetitious it is like that um it is nice it's cool i i think these look really clean jolteon growlithe dodrio and a non-holographic energy cared cared look at these though look how consistently clean these are they're like the real madrid jerseys where they were I think they still have gold numbers. That same gold that's in the Lucario back there on Crown Zenith. So clean, perfect, just gorgeous. You look intimidating, like the New York Yankees with the pinstripes, just perfect. Electabuzz, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Coughing, Sea King, Butterfree, Lapras, Dragonite, Polyhwirl, and a Marowak. I'm pretty sure I already have the Polyhwirl, um, so I will probably post that on eBay sooner than later. But very nice. Good card. Still looks really awesome though. I like how it's like realistic kind of looking um, right there. And look at that. They're like almost the sh same shade of blue. Almost the same shade of blue. Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, you says. It's not Crown Zenith. It's Crown Zenith. They say aluminium in England. So a few English people in America want to say Zenith. And you got to say aluminium. You have to. Scyther, Charmeleon, Parasect, Onyx, Magneton, something, Mew, Alakazam EX. All right, we, we got three of you. We're going to have three of you in this video because of the promos. So not, not needed, dude. Uh, down to the last pack. <coughs> Excuse me. In the Zapdos EX. Zapdos EX box. Come on, let's go. Let's get one of the big cards here. No, I'm fine if I get a Charizard at this point. It'd be nice to get a little bit of money back. Arcanine, Kingler, Bills Transfer, Vileplume, non-holographic energy. Did we strike out entirely on the holographic energies in that video? Or in, in that box? Because I think we did. I don't think we got one. All right. Very last Lugia unknown box. And this one, let's just, I just wanted to test. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was pretty easy. That's, this is still good. See? Still covering it. Pretty good. Pretty good glue. But giving. It's forgiving. And it's giving. We do not need to go through all this extra garbage. I will sort it later. I recycle. Sorry, I had to take those off camera. Just put them in one hand to lay them down. But we are down to our last five. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to compare... What we get the better hits out of. The last five Crown Zenith packs, or the last four Pokemon 151. Is this gonna help me? Oh my god. Ugh. This is. Look at this. Look at this. They should make a rip tag like they got on like FedEx packages. There we go. But we're gonna see which is better. Four booster packs of 151, or five booster packs of Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith. I'm gonna see what Crown Zenith is all about. Let's see. All right, we're gonna get some space here. Let's see. We're gonna go with the Crown Zenith, which would make the most sense, and then we will end off on Crown Zenith. 
Uh, four from the back. And let's get a gold. Let's let's make it happen. If you guys could grab any gold out of Crown Zenith, which one would it be? Mine would personally be Giratina, and not just because it's probably the most valuable, just because it is the best artwork. The other one besides that would be um, Arceus, without a doubt. Arceus would definitely be the next one. Just They just look so elegant. Giratina looks haunting. Dialga looks pretty cool. I think that's all of them, right? Or is it four? Is there four? I can't think off the top. What did I do? Oh, no. I did a... Excuse me. <coughs> I did <coughs> accidentally open a 151. And I'm sorry about that. I just got a sudden tickle. That was really bad. But out of nowhere, that just hit me. A V-Star marker. Hope I can get through the rest of this video. I got a really cough. Potion, Galarian Mr. Mime. Sunkern, coughing. Galarian Meowth and a Tangrowth. A bunch of nothing. This is not the way I really thought this video would go. In my history with both of these sets, I've gotten to pull quite a bit of good stuff. And Crown Zenith has been another letdown today. I always wonder when you find these excessive discounts, if they know something about the packing that we don't. Is it possible that they say, hey, let's set these on huge... What did I do? One, two, three, four. Let's put those back here. Let's figure out what just happened. Spiro. Golbat, Leftovers, Persian. What? Okay. Oh my god, that was oh, another 151. I'm confusing myself, guys. I'm sorry. Ever since I coughed, I'm like, just screwing this up. But that's okay. I guess this is not the best pull, but whatever. Um, I can't even remember. Now I'm so confused that I'm like, just messing up left and right that I don't even want to narrate it anymore. I just want this video to be over. Uh, but we need to get some golds. We need to get something big out of Crown Zenith. We haven't pulled anything big out of here in a long time. Pawniard, Cricketot, Chatot, Cherubby, and a Hop. Ugh. This is bad. This is so bad. I really, really, really wish that we got something big out of Crown Zenith. Even the Mew. I, I would take another pull of the Mew. That'd be great. Kakuna. This time I'm going to remember that one had a little bit of a imperfection right there at the top. Polyquag. Ponyta, Pikachu, Parasect, Giovanni's Charisma. I take a Giovanni's Charisma. Sandslash, Amistar, and a non-holographic energy. <sighs> this is this is brutal. This was a pretty expensive video too. I wouldn't say expensive. I would just say it's definitely it was definitely costly. Cost over Hundo. Cost over 120, I believe. Um, but it's a lot of nothing. Young Goose. Cherubby, Energy Search, anything here. Nothing again. Dubwool, this is bad. Down to our very last Pokemon 151 booster pack. So let's see if this one's going to have all the goods. It only takes one card to save a video. Will this be the one that saves it? And so far, I guess out of all those, we would have to say that 151 is winning, right? Muck, Eevee. Oh, Alakazam. All right, it, it happened. It did happen. It got saved. It totally got saved by this one gorgeous card. One of the best cards you can pull out of the set. The Alakazam. Uh, one of my, probably the top illustrator rare because it's outside of the original three um, or nine, however you want to slice it. I would say that this one gets a little less love, but nonetheless, one of the better ones. Probably the best, in my personal opinion. I do dig on that. So the only way... The only way that Alakazam is about to be dethroned is if there is a gold card of any of them in here. Any single one of them, Crown Zenith wins. And I'm just trying to get these off the camera, but of course nothing's cooperating all of a sudden. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Alakazam just made me absolutely, absolutely floored that we ended up saving quite a bit of the video with just that one card. So let's see, Crown Zenith, let's see what we get here. Uh, Gloom, Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Love Disc, Emolga, Yanma, Pawniard, Cricketot, Pawniard. There is a there's a regular V card, Green and V there, and that's it. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. We still had fun. We did have a good deal on all these cards, so um, not a complete waste of time doing this. But here's just some of the pulls that we got out of here. We did get an Arbok, Coralesce's experiment. We got a Mew EX. 
Um, we got the Alakazam EX at the second to last booster pack there. We got the Elusive Dragonair right there. We got another Jinx. We got non We got a Holographic um, Psychic, Arbok. We got a Mew and a Durladon, which not bad. Polyhorl, Turtwig, and then some of the... Um, promo cards there but uh make sure you guys are tuning in every wednesday at 2 p.m central standard time i am consistently posting and you guys are going to see all the videos that are coming out uh for the new sets as always i always get my hands on the first wave of product but make sure you guys are liking subscribing commenting and just genuinely checking out the channel um, i'll see you guys in the next one have a good day thank you again bye Here and it says open. They're they're on a roll right now, and it's not open. Which I get it. Times do say twelve, but it does say open. GameStop's on a roll today, man. Stupid package. I just want to return it. Why are you so bad, GameStop?